Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. Wife cheat on me with a player until I have depression and now I am happier. After reading your stories it brought back all the heartache and anger that I went through at the end of my marriage. So, I thought to write my story to give a glimmer of hope to you and to show you that everything turns out good at the end. I am 55 years old, my ex-wife is 50 years old. Married for 23 years, together for 25 years. So, a little background, I am from Alberta, Canada, farm boy, born and raised at my parents' dairy farm. I moved to Ontario to go university and got a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. After graduating I went back to Alberta and started working in the oil patch in automation of big oil processing facilities and oil and gas drilling. Made good money, bought a house in the city. A co-worker introduced me to my ex-wife, she is an accountant working at a big retail company in the finance department, we clicked immediately and started dating, lived together for two years and married. During our time in Alberta we had two kids, boys, 19 months apart from each other. Around year 5 of our marriage she got a promotion that required to move to the HQ office in Ontario. So, I resigned to my job and we moved to Ontario. Rented and kept my house, and bought a new house with my ex-wife there. Found a new job in automation of manufacturing facilities. She quickly rose through the ranks in the company she works for and now she is a high-level manager in this company. We both make very good money and have a very good lifestyle, frequent family vacations, new cars very often and paid our house loan very fast, so basically no debt. We had a very social life, we knew a lot of people there, from our university days and from her childhood. In 2016, is where everything went to crap, I got laid off my job, got diagnosed with diabetes, type 1, and got home early one day after running some errands to find out that my wife has having an affair with my best friend, college roommate. I caught them in the act. He was in our friend's circle, he is tall and handsome, divorced for cheating, you know the player type. She begged and said the usual stuff that they all say. That she loves me, that is was a mistake, that we can solve this and our marriage is the most important thing to her, blah blah blah. I didn't want to reconcile, couldn't think of myself being a prison guard following her everywhere and looking for ghosts around my relationship. I do know my value, so I kicked her out of the house and started divorce proceedings called the kids that were at university at that time and told them what their mother did, this put a lot of strain in their relationship which she claimed that was unnecessary and petty for my part. Called my so-called friends to tell them what happened and most of them knew, one even told me that this affair has been going on for three years. I was oblivious, maybe because I was naive and trusted completely my then wife. After knowing this I went no contact with my ex, every communication came through my lawyer. I cut them all out of my life, never spoke to them again. I got depressed, had rage issues, did not sleep, did not eat during that time. Was the worst pain I ever been in my life. Never want to go through that again. I sometimes still have nightmares about it. One day I realized that I could not keep being sorry for myself and start looking how to keep my mind occupied. Started jogging and exercising, started cooking as a hobby, started to learn how to play guitar. Anything to keep my mind of remembering all the crap that I've been put through. Playing guitar was one of the things that helped me a lot, is very hard to master, takes a lot of practice and took a bunch of hours of the day that I would otherwise spend wallowing. One of the first songs I learned is The Sound of by Jan Arden. It is a song about recovery and I truly recommend it. Another thing that helped was buying a puppy dog a Rottweiler, the breed that we used to have at the farm. My ex hates animals, so we didn't have one. Taking care of the puppy also allowed me to take things off my mind and having it being dependent of me gave me a reason to keep going. During the divorce, we sold the house and split the equity, split the money in the savings account. RSPs, retirement, didn't need to be divided since we both had the same amount saved, and after the divorce I moved back to Alberta since I had a house here and started my consultant business, and I am doing very well, even in this recession. Sold my house and bought one in Canmore at the foot of the Rockies and have the woods as my backyard. I'm not very good at social media, never cared for it, I do not even have a Facebook profile so not following my ex-wife was very easy, nor did I want to know what she was doing. In 2018, I went back to Ontario for my son's graduation, 
and I met my ex there. She asked since I was there visiting if we could grab a cup of coffee someday and catch up. I just told her that in hell I would be in better company and then went to ignore her for the rest of the ceremony. Both of my sons moved here to Alberta and they live 40 minutes away from me. This had to be a shock to my ex, since Ontario is 4 hours away by plane and like 36 hours away by car and that makes it very difficult for her to come and visit the kids. Not everything is great as it sounds, I haven't been able to be in a relationship again. I have trust issues and decided that it isn't fair to my partner, so I stopped dating altogether. I am alone by I don't feel lonely. I am very happy with my life even if I don't have anybody to share it with. For all of you in this sub, my heart goes to you and what you are going through but I can testify that it gets better, and even if you end up being alone like me, is way better than living with the cheater and the ghost of their infidelity. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.